what did Houston do so well to take you under the rhythm there? Uh, eight minutes in. They did just an uh, excellent basketball team, something that uh, we obviously uh, knew coming in. They were one of the top uh, defensive teams in the country uh, year in, year out. Uh, in terms of where they hold their opponents, in terms of field goal percentage, they're one of the uh, top rebounding teams in the country. So it's very difficult to get second chance opportunities uh, if your first uh, attempts uh, don't go in and they actually turn you over and uh, create scoring opportunities off their turnovers in the open floor. So um, their physicality, ability to rebound, uh, second chance opportunities, 10 offensive rebounds I think they got uh, tonight. And um, so, uh, we knew coming in what was going to happen. I thought our guys responded a lot better than the second half, so much than I maybe mean, the first eight to ten minutes uh, of the basketball game. We'll go to Coach Duarte in the front row. Coach, if, if you could, um, from what you saw with Walker, the freshman, uh, is that not, you know, I guess that's not your typical freshman that you see out there. Right, no, I, I, you know, uh, we watched him uh, from the other night. He's uh, smooth. He's, he's one of those guys that uh, I think uh, Coach has done an excellent job of uh, allowing him uh, a little freedom uh, to be able to play, and uh, he certainly delivers. Uh, make big plays out there. What was he, uh, like 9 for 11 uh, tonight? And um, he takes the shots given to him. Didn't seem as though that he had to go shot hunting. I thought he played well, and he uh, played well off of his teammates. His teammates did a great job of uh, – they're looking for him and he delivered for him. Coach, what are your thoughts on your freshman that Terry's more? I thought uh, Zai's uh, been really good uh, each game for us. I thought he's uh, uh, really played big tonight. Uh, you know, I look at uh, Houston, I watch him, cover him a, a lot. You know, follow Coach Sampson and his programs, and, and uh, I know uh, what a great uh, defensive team and how tough they are. And for Zai uh, to come in and to this type of environment against a team of this magnitude, that boss was number one team in the country, uh, to, to be able to come in and make the plays that he did against such a great defensive team, uh, give us reason to be excited. And one of the reasons we take on these uh, type of challenges uh, early in the season is to utilize the measuring stick of uh, where we are and uh, uh, how our guys can compete. I thought tonight that Zai passed the test for us. Well, just for you guys to be able to guard Marcus Sasser and, and really the skill set that he brings to the table. Well, he's Marcus tough. I mean, he's a three-level scorer um, at the end of the day and uh, didn't knock down any three-pointers uh, tonight. I thought we did. A, well, he, he got looks and they didn't go down, uh, but he um, is very creative uh, off the bounce. He get off his ball screens. Uh, he plays well off of them. He get to the rim. I think he had a couple of and one finishes uh, against us uh, to uh, uh, tonight. And, uh, but he's special. Uh, we had a chance to go and uh, see Bryce and Grisham in the um, uh, pro uh, when he went to um, the pre-draft camp in Chicago. And I saw Sasser uh, that was there in the pre-draft camp. And I thought at that time he may have been the best guard uh, that was in the pre-draft camp. And that's uh, how highly I think of him. And I thought he uh, delivered well tonight. It's just he's an excellent special player. Coach Jones, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.